it's the pursuit for the highest level of professionalism in fishing. This fish is a jumping, ferocious, running, screaming, just animal. But let me tell you, if it had a roar like a lion, that would be it. No one would fish for anything else. Just 80 miles south of Miami, in the middle of the Florida Keys, lies a unique village of five islands called Isla Morada. It's also known to many as the sport fishing capital of the world, and it's only fitting that it's home to four of the most storied tarpon tournaments in fly fishing history, drawing the area's best captains and anglers all on a hunt for one of the most exciting sport fish on the planet. See what you got there, Big Daddy. The journey begins now as we join alongside two seasoned captains, each on a quest, competing for the tournament titles to see who's the best at enticing a dance with the Silver King. Hit him! Good job, buddy. Dang, man. Oh, oh, what a jump. I got it, got it? Yeah, great. That freaking off. We jump shot, baby! That's a fish there, bro. <clears throat> If you've ever had the good fortune to fish the flats of Isla Morada, chances are your day began and ended at the Lorelei. The Lorelei is said to emit the pulse of this fishing sanctuary. Second jump comes up. <laughs> Captains and anglers within the tarpon community gather here and participate in four annual tournaments. These invitational-only tournaments bring men and women together in a quest to crown the most efficient guide angler team. Legendary fly fishing photographer and author Pat Ford serves as the 2013 Golden Fly Tournament Director. You know, now it's one of the top tournaments in the Keys in the year. And it's, uh, it's the kickoff one, the first one, got all the heavies in it. And everybody's coming in with their game faces on, loaded for bear. And here we go, but they're still speaking to each other now, you see, because the tournament's just starting, the season's just starting. About the third day of the Gold Cup, nobody's speaking to anybody. The guys are, are competitive. The anglers are superb. I mean, we have the really the best tarpon anglers. You know, they're young and they're hungry and they, they want to win. They, it's a feather in their cap to win any one of these tournaments. The sunrise sets the stage for day one of the tournament. All of the practice and preparation have led to this event, and it's throttles down to get to their spots. What started out as summer fishing trips to Isla Morada would very quickly turn into an immense passion for Keys guide, Bo Basso, who started casting a fly rod when he was eight years old. Go ahead and make a cast up here at like 12.30 to your right more, to your right more at about 50 feet. Go ahead and throw one right out there. Drop it. Oh, saw that fish coming from behind you strip through right there? Oh, look at those birds, man. Yeah, that's because someone just ran through. Oh. oh my God, look at them blowing the fish out. <laughs> Little birdie. It's like if somebody freaking, you know, when you woke up in the morning, you woke up to your roof being, you know, removed and somebody, you know, flying 15 freaking helicopters over it. <laughs> More important things than grades, Denny. Tournament fishing really cleans it up. It makes people more honest. You find out what's really happening and uh, you realize that this isn't a, a game where you're catching a whole lot of fish. This is quality over quantity. Fly fishing for tarpon is a game of patience and precision. Everything has to be perfect, even the slightest disturbance of the water. And it can simply spell disaster. Keep tripping. Keep tripping. He's he he go, go left. 
Every guide must put the team in a position to intercept Tarpon and have casting opportunities to get the bite. Many elements go into this decision, weather, tide, and visibility, just to name a few. But veteran guides like Rob Fordyce anticipate where they think they will have the best opportunities, but it's always an educated guess. Let them figure out which way they're gonna go here. Okay. Go ahead. Straight at the right one. Oh, it went to the left. Little, little fix. Go right in front of all of them. Whoa. Trip, 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 trip. Keep tripping it, keep tripping it, keep tripping it, keep tripping it, trip, 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 trip. hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Boom. Okay. We're, we're fishing a tournament and we're filming. Double pressure. Silver Kings is presented in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Sea Deck Marine Products, your boat deserves Sea Deck. By Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by Deep Eddy Vodka, dive in. beginning of a little push. You're fishing out in the ocean, this huge expanse of water. Go a little bit left. And you throw these little flies, Good. and it's got to end up in this window of awareness that literally is that big, or you will not get a bite. Because the fish are not in a feeding mode, they're in a migratory pattern, you have to create a, a reaction bite. So it's like you just got to dangle the mouse in front of the cat. Hit him, hit him, hit him! So the fish eats. He hooks, he hooks the, the fish, you gotta get tight. Then you gotta clear him and not get real wrecked on the last little loop of line he's trying to get before, before the, actually the line gets on the reel and the drag starts working. Then the fish runs and he starts jumping and then you hope the hook stays in. Then you run the fish down and you get to leave it. You get a release. Yeah, big one. I think for, for most people. <laughs> not a weight, but we'll take it. Good job, buddy. A tournament day is a whole nother level of pressure and a whole nother level of anxiety, and, and hey. a lot of guys lose patience. You didn't fish bad. Yeah, I felt better today. Had four bites, three or four bites. Stuck one, just no luck. That'll change tomorrow. As day one comes to a close, it's clear that the tarpon have the advantage. Team Fordyce scores points for releasing one fish, but Team Basso finishes the day without a fish caught. Tournament fishing is about maintaining focus. Some days are more productive than others, and you never know what the next day holds. All right, man. Sad. You gonna turn that in so I don't have I to will. hang my head low? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Well, listen, I'll see you at the barbecue tonight. Thank you, sir. All right, buddy, thanks a lot. It was a lot of fun. We'll Excellent. get them tomorrow. We'll you know get them better. tomorrow. We've, I know. we've skunked before. I know how it goes. We'll get them. All right. Isla Morada is a social place, much like any beach community. There are no secrets around town, just a warming nature that puts residents at ease. Long days on the water usually end with good friends and a cold drink. Stories are exchanged and often embellished. But one thing remains true, you're always welcome here. Yeah, well, you know what, to I boot, haven't to fallen credit. off the boat or, or done any slips here in the past two days. <laughs> so I don't maybe when you, maybe when hey, you when were you a little old, younger you had a little better maybe balance. Can, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You got me there. It's times like these that allow for new friendships to be made and old ones enhanced. An opportunity for mentoring between the established and the promising future. <laughs>
Silver Kings is presented in part by Sea Deck Marine Products. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. Smith Optics. See the world differently with chroma pop lenses. Able Reels. Crafted for chaos. And by Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. My name is Bo. My real name is William, but because I'm the third, my mom said there's no way that we're going to have another Billy, Willie, or something like that, so we got to figure out a name for this cat. And uh, Bo is my grandmother's maiden name, which is why I spell it B-O-U. I'm originally from Jupiter, which is about two and a half hours north of here, and uh, spent the majority of my summers since I was born, six months old, coming down to Isla Mirada and uh, to this day, I still spend the summers here, but for the past seven years, I've lived here full time. Growing up, my dad, God bless him, he still works like a dog, but he never really booked any fishing charters. And the few times that he did, it always instilled into my brain that fishing guides have supernatural powers. That there's something that these guys have that I don't have and that my dad doesn't have and that they can just make the fish appear. And so from a very young age, I was addicted to this game, to the pursuit of what is elusive. You know, trying to capture these fish, specifically bonefish, tarpon, and permit. And that's how I ended up down here and that's how my passion was seated in Isla Mirada and uh, I just got so lucky to be here because it turns out this is one of the most phenomenal places to fly fish for tarpon in the world. One of the biggest decisions for a guide each morning is deciding where to start their day. On the north side of the Keys is a body of water called the Backcountry. Resembling a maze of channels, lagoons, and open water bays, it's vast and unforgiving. Fish eat better in the back, but you get fewer shots than fishing the ocean side. It's a gamble, but Captain Bo feels it's worth the risk. Okay, here comes a single at you at uh, two o'clock. See him? Right yeah, there. I see him. Okay, I'm gonna turn the boat. They're coming right at you. Okay. Hold on. 12 o'clock, hold on, hold on. Hold on, be easy, because this is when they're the most scared. Slow strip, slow strip, just like that. Keep it coming. Strip. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, go to the other. She's not going to eat it. Put it right on her back. Slow strip, 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 strip. Bump, 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 Woo. What a jump! Let her go. Woo. <laughs> what a jump! Great job, Paul. I can't believe you survived that. We can get the release. Yeah, in in, yeah. in more time, you yeah. know, and and not waste time, and not have it jumping around. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. In the Golden Fly, teams receive points for a release fish or a weight fish. Any tarpon over 48 inches is a caught release fish when the leader attached to the fly line passes through the rod tip. However, more points are awarded for a weight fish, which is any tarpon weighing over 70 pounds. Let me know when you get that guide, that knot into the guides. Just Ready? missed it. Here, keep going. Okay, hold on. Ready? Here you go. Let me know. I got it. Got it? Yeah. Okay, great. Really pull on him now. Oh, that's good. He's gone. It's a release. Okay. That fish was going to be too small for the, the strap anyways. Beautiful. Great job, Beautiful. dude. Great job. Got a nice release there, and we can rock and roll. Hit him. Give me two more clicks of Greg. Awesome. Silver Kings is presented in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. 
Florida Keys Outfitters, your go-to source for saltwater fly fishing success. By Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. And by D. Betty Ruby Red Vodka, dive in. When you make the drive in, you quickly realize that you've landed in a magical place. In the middle of the Florida Keys, Isla Morada is home to a tarpon tournament with a rich history known as the Golden Fly. Isla Morada really is a paradise all its own, but for fly fishermen, it means much more because it's considered one of the most active tarpon fisheries on Earth. It's an interesting geographical layout to have the Gulf of Mexico due west of here and all these chains of islands and banks out in Everglades National Park and then due east of here to have the Atlantic Ocean, it's just like a tarpon highway. You've got fish coming north, you've got fish coming south, east and west, and it's just a very fascinating place to sight fish a very large animal in shallow water. Out in front, 12 o'clock. A little bit right. A little, little bit right there, see him? No, I don't. In? You oh, got yeah. him? Yeah. You, know, you start off as a guide and you look up to all the guys that are before you, all the big names. And if you get lucky enough to, to have somebody tutor you and, and, and so forth, and you really look up to that guy. And then as you go along, the guy that tutored you and, and your level starts to, to come up and approach his. And, and the most amazing thing that can happen for somebody that tutors somebody Front, is that the student surpasses right. the tutor. Bit, that, that's the right most there, amazing thing that can happen for him. anybody. Talk to him, drop him, leave him. You see a fish, whatever kind of fish it might be when you're sight fishing, and you say, point your rod at 11, and before you even get the words out of your mouth, he's already throwing at it, because he's already seen it. He already knows which way it's, way it's going. And, and when he sees the fish at the rate in which it's traveling, he knows how far to throw the fly ahead of it, because he just has that instinct. He has that feel for it. Some guys that have done this for 30 years still don't have that feel for it. They either have it or they don't, and Ryan has it. Leave it, leave it, little tiny ticks. Oh, sure, sure, sure. hit him! Good, good save with the teeth, man. Thank you. Good save, good save, good save. With the tarpon on, Rob's first priority is to chase the fish down while Ryan retrieves his fly line so they can score their release points. But they already know this fish is big enough for weight points, so the pressure is on to land this fish. Got him. Get it? Yeah. Got it? Do it right neutral. I kept throwing it neutral thinking you were going to get it and you couldn't get it. Good job, buddy. Now let's catch him. That's a weight there. That fish swam past the fly. He twisted his head all the way backwards and came back and got it. That was one of the coolest bites I've seen. I'm going to get about half your fly line back. I'm going to stop let you pull on him, all right? OK. He ought to be a little tired after all that. Reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down. Reel down a little bit and pull straight up. Watch the, watch the big weed piles, try to just steer it through it. There you go, perfect, excellent job. To score weight points, teams must strap a tarpon at the widest part of the fish. What do you want me to do? At the weigh-in, the circumference of the strap is measured and a formula is used to determine its official weight. I've done it for you. Okay. Where's the widest, in front of the dorsal or behind it? Uh, go right over the peck pin. See if that's the widest point. A little bit tighter. Right there, you're good. If a team straps a tarpon that weighs less than 70 pounds, no points are scored for that fish. Let me put him in the water for a minute. Sounds good. Idle me for a minute. Yeah. 
All right, neutral. Woo! That's right. what we came to do, Big Daddy. Thank you. Good job. Scale came off during all that souvenir for you. All right. Keep your eyes peeled. See them up there? Yeah. They're going to bounce right off of that. I don't think they're going to want to swim over that. I'm losing them. Hold on. Stay with me for a second. Two o'clock. See him? Right yep, there. Yeah, I see him. OK, I'm going to turn the boat to the left. Pick it up right now and go right. Drop. Strip, 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 strip. Slower. Strip, 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 strip. Here he comes. Strip, 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 strip. Got him. Great job. Let him go. Very well done, Paul. Nice. Very well done. Boy, he's ripping. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay, Bo, can you yeah. go a little faster? Tell me, a little faster? Yeah, yeah. Go a little faster. Get faster. up on the bow. Faster, faster, faster. You gotta freaking let me okay. drive this boat okay. a little bit. To see and learn more and to watch full-length episodes, log on to SilverKingsTV.com.